experience with the British team here and have you been surprised by the results by some of the other nations and perhaps if you can talk about the Americans and the Australians? Um, well, from a British perspective, I think that the past few years we've just gone from strength to strength. Um, I think post 2013, I think 2014 was probably the start of um, a new era in British swimming. Um, and yeah, we've just got better and better and with the performances of people like um, Adam Peaty, uh, Duncan Scott and, and the likes, I think it just brings the whole morale in the camp up. Um, obviously Tom Dean as well, two fantastic uh, gold medals there. Um, yeah, the whole morale in the camp is just lifted and it's not just something that's happened over these Olympics, it's happened over the past few years and like I said, we've just gone from strength to strength. Um, in terms of other countries, uh, I think if we just focus on our performances as, as a team, then the results are coming to us. We can't really control what other people are doing. Hi there, Aaron Sheldrick from Reuters. Um, just back to this claim from Murphy. Um, do you have any idea who, who he might be referring to? And are you able to say anything about that? I mean, Thank you. <laughs> I can't really speak on Ryan's behalf. Um, obviously, there's a lot of... Um, media around the Russian Federation coming into this Olympics um, and obviously it's frustrating seeing that as an athlete um, having known that there is a state sponsored doping program going on and feeling like maybe more could be done to tackle that but um, that's not for me to make those decisions really. Go ahead. Uh, hi Luke. Um, Oh, back here. A slightly, a slightly easier question for you. Um, when did you uh, join Mel Marshall and, and how much has she helped you? Um, and also, you said about your hair that you've kept it growing uh, because your results have been good. Um, talk us through that a little bit more and are you going to keep it growing? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I joined Mel in 2016. Uh, I think we've always got on really well and bounced off each other. and. Um, yeah, it's a great, great partnership. She's obviously done amazingly well with Adam and um, the likes of Anna Hopkin and Sarah Vasey um, getting into Olympic finals and stuff rec more recently. Um, and yeah, it was, it was kind of a, a tough start because I was transitioning from junior to senior. I just moved away from home. Um, but she was really supportive in, in that. Um, and I couldn't think of anyone better to, to help me go through that tough process. Um, as for the hair, yeah, it's just it's kind of like an ongoing joke that I've started swimming a little bit faster since growing my hair out. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not that I'm superstitious about it, but I'll keep it long for a little bit. <laughs> Luke, over here, front row. Uh, we'll, right here, oh, right here. Luke. Sorry. Um, there's an old saying at the Olympics that the happiest people on the podium are first and third. <laughs> is is third uh, a disappointment for you or a win? I mean. I'm over the moon. Um, like obviously, the ultimate goal is to win an Olympic gold medal, but I've still got another Olympics in me. This is a stepping stone. The, the, this year has just been absolutely fantastic with um, 154, I think, six times, um, having never broken 155 previous to this year. It's obviously been a very challenging year with regards to COVID and um, restrictions and lockdowns. So to come away with an Olympic medal, is, is abs I'm absolutely over the moon. And, um, we've still got the relay to go, so I'm looking forward to, to racing in that. Uh, Luke, congratulations. Um, surfing has been added to the Olympic roster this year. Uh, since PT got your gold medal and got the ball rolling for, for British swimmers, is there a sense that you've literally almost caught a wave because it's led to medal after medal, and, uh, and the latest one being yours, obviously. Yeah, I mean, the mood in the camp at the minute is just absolutely incredible. Um, everyone's buzzing from um, all the performances that we've had, and that really helps everyone um, get behind each other. And Yeah, it's just a really pleasant place to be, and if we're, we're in that kind of zone, then the results will come to us. I'm sorry to take away the attention from you, Luke. Can I ask um, a question to Evgeny, please? Um, uh, have you heard Murphy's comments and can you respond to them or can you make a comment on those comments, please? And uh, Do you know who he was referring to? 
in those comments about the, rope, uh, the race being um, not clean. Thank you. Я честно не слышал об этом комментарии, поэтому ответить что-то честно не могу и как-то комментировать, наверное, тоже. The question is to Ryan Murphy. Uh, do you think that the uh, final was not clean and why you think so? Well, I think, uh, well, I think the thing that's, that's frustrating is that you, you can't answer that question with 100% with certainty. And, and I think over the years, that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of come out. And, uh, and so, yeah, I, I don't I, I can't answer that question. Like, I, I don't know if it was 100% clean, and, and and that's because of things that have happened over the past. Go ahead. Yes, oh, you, uh, Evgeny, do you think that they're referring to you about that you are a drugs cheat? And can you tell us, do you swim clean? No, I was always a honest kind of sport, no, a kind of sport, yes, and a honest start. So I always give a doping, I always fill Adams. И всегда плыву от всей души и честно. Поэтому я посвятил себя всему жизни, наверное, я не смогу себе простить, если бы что-то применял. Поэтому я не знаю, как на это реагировать. Типа, Айн меня не обвинил ни в чем, поэтому я не хочу ничего отвечать на это. Жень, скажи, пожалуйста, какое значение вот эти достижения значат для тебя, насколько это важно в твоей жизни, и как, как долго ты к этому шел и преодолевал? А, а, цель, цель, наверное, появилась именно за, выиграть Олимпийские игры лет, наверное, 13-14, когда я уже работал со своим тренером Шишином Андрегенайчем, когда уже результат начал расти к кандидату мастера спорта, мастеру спорта и выше. Уже появлялись какие-то надежды на хорошее будущее, на то, что я могу претендовать на медали и, возможно, даже на золото на Олимпийские игры. В 2016 году опыт был очень хороший, не все получилось, но опыт был прекрасный. И я его, этот урок очень сильно хорошо извлек. И, в принципе, сейчас в этом году получилось максимально реализоваться. Мартин Петти, из Reuters. Вопрос для Райана. How do you feel about making an allegation and then saying that you, you don't know with certainty? Um, are, are you aware of the implications of, of such a, a remark? Yeah, I, I, I think to be clear, I've, I've never made, like, I, my intention is not to make any allegations here. Like, I, like congratulations to, to Eugenie, congratulations to Luke. I, I think they did an incredible job. They're both very talented swimmers. I think they both work really hard. They've got great technique. Um, at the end of the day, like I, I do, I do believe there's there's doping in in swimming, and that is that is what it is. Like I I met the the new FINA executive. I think it's the FINA executive director, uh, Mr. Nowicki, at at Olympic trials, and and we were talking about about FINA and, and things that, that they want to do to, to help push the sport forward. And, and he was asking me for, for my take. And I was like, OK, I think FINA needs to be a little bit more transparent, both on, on the financial side and on the drug testing side. And, and what he said is he's like, OK, like we're, we are working on it. Uh, it it's going to be it's going to be hard and it's going to take a long time to clear this sport of doping. And so when you hear that from the top, it, I mean, that's, that's tough to hear. Uh, and, and so it's like that, that is, yeah, that's what I believe. 
Yeah. Ryan, thank you for being honest about FINA. A lot of athletes have sat up there and not been so honest about how they feel about the governing body. Could I ask you, is part of your objection, do you believe that the Russian Olympic Committee should be competing at these Olympics, given their state-sponsored doping program? Again, I, I, I don't have an objection. Uh, like, as, as in my quote, I, I said, there's people that know a lot more about this situation than I do. I am training to be the absolute best athlete I can be. And so I don't have time to, to, to get involved in this situation. But there is a situation. And, and, and that's, like that, that's a problem. And, and like I'm, I'm sorry that there is a situation, but I don't, I don't know enough about it to, to give a 100% certain answer there. Женя, на подиуме ты, когда все получили медали, собрал ребят вместе, чтобы вы обнялись. Насколько было для тебя важно вот этот жест сделать красивый и насколько ты сейчас, может быть, немножко расстроен, что пресс-конференция пошла именно в таком русле, немножко обвинительно? Ну, сложно сказать, но, наверное, Райан имеет полное право так думать, потому что, в принципе, скандалы были. Поэтому никто этого факта не отменяет, что все возможно. Поэтому как есть, так есть. В принципе, мы живем здесь и сейчас, а не там в прошлом или будущем. Поэтому просто будем наблюдать, наверное, что будет дальше. Ну, он открыто мне ничего не предъявил, поэтому я ничего против него не имею. Last question. Uh, Ryan, uh, what do you think about uh, Justin Gatlin, American sprinter who was two times disqualified for doping? He should be here on this Olympics or not? Well, I think in, in the case of, of Justin Gatlin, the U.S. Is, is always completely transparent in terms of how often people are drug tested, if they tested positive, what they tested positive for. Uh, and so there are, there are checks in place for if people test positive. Uh, and and that's, that's an individual scenario. I, I don't think this is a, I don't think that's an apples, like I, I know the comparison you're trying to make. I, I don't think that's apples to apples, uh, to use an American phrase. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my thought on that. Okay, thank you very much.